All right, the first way is pretty simple. I have my artwork, I dropped it inside of CAD link. All I'm gonna do is click on my artwork here, right click, go down to modify, and hit mirror. Now I could also do that again to remove the effect of mirroring. Right click, scroll down to mirror, click it again, and it's off. The second way is just as simple. What I'm gonna do is make sure that my job tab is clicked down here and there's a button for mirroring. You simply toggle that off and on and the mirroring effect will toggle off and on. Now the third way is to select the mirroring option for your specific print mode. So you'd go up to devices, manage print modes, double click on the print mode you want to enable this on, select color layer, layer profile right below. You can see for this demo, I have mirror vertically on. Make sure you hit save, close out, and now I'm gonna drag a piece of art in and you'll see that this is going to come in automatically mirrored vertically. Now there is something to note with this. This is for the print mode specifically. So if I change my print mode and update the preview, it's not going to be flipped anymore because I changed the print mode. Now I'll go back and we're gonna see it mirror back vertically but you have to generate preview image because you changed the print mode, so you need to update the preview. All right, the fourth and final way is probably our favorite, and we just want to enable mirroring anytime we import art, no matter what print mode we're in. So to do that, we need to make the queue do that. So in this case, my driver is the DTF Superstore 24, I'm going to go to queue, manage queues. I only have the one installed, so I only have one option, but you're going to select the one you want and right here, show queue properties. Click that, go to layout manager and you want mirror job on import. Click OK, close out. Now when I drag the artwork in, no matter what print mode I'm on, it's automatically going to come in mirrored. And there you have it. Now, with if you're using our driver from the DTF Superstore, this is automatically going to be enabled on our driver. But if you have other drivers, that's where you would select this option. Now, one final thing to note is that you would not want to enable mirroring on both your print mode and your queue or using the button, because if you use it two times in any way, then you're gonna essentially mirror it one way and then mirror it again, making it look like you never mirrored it at all. So pick one method that you like, whether it's using the button or it's using a preference and just roll with that moving forward and you'll be all set mirroring your artwork. Uh, drop us a comment and let us know some other videos you would like to see that might help you out when preparing your artwork for DTF printing. Subscribe to our channel so you know when our new videos come out. Thanks!